is a curious thing. Let me ask you something. If all the artists of our world had been the greatest scientists of their age, do you think we would have a time machine? If they had forgotten their paintings, sculpting, and drawing for measurements and calculations and theories, do you think we'd have one? I don't know if that's possible. Even then, is the trade-off even worth it? Would a time machine help us understand the lives of the past better than a painting? Let's explore that by looking at Van Gogh's 1888 painting, Farmhouse in Province. I'd like to give you some background on the painting of his life and talk through my own observations. Feel free to comment some of your own. He came to Province in search of something seemingly odd. Sunlight. A light that could make detail disappear. It made the object simple. It made the world flat. It was this flatness, these squashed patterns, that he enjoyed in Japanese wood woodblock prints. Now, is it that simple? He enjoyed the light? Not exactly. But sort of. Van Gogh's artistic career was a single decade. The man, only recognized widely after his death, was affected deeply by mental illness. I may not understand why he chose this scene, this place, this farmhouse to paint, but I know he sought this light. Personally, I think the movement of the strokes of clouds resemble a movement we see in Starry Night, painted in the next year. There is a man in the scene, standing in the tall plants. He looks away from us. My guess would be towards the gate. The viewer appears to be in the field too. Now, this could just be where Van Gogh painted his scene. And it might not even matter. The painting just transports us into the scene. It feels like I'm there. And something also interesting about the painting is that the yellow seems to infest itself into the sky and the color of the dead or dying piles lying beyond the walls of the farmhouse are strikingly similar to me to the supposedly living piles of the mysterious man stands among. My eyes come to rest on the red of the roof and flowers, but surprisingly I realize that the wall itself is protecting my eyes from being overwhelmed with the yellow. I feel that this painting protects me inserting me into a scene where I stand with a strange man in a field. And my eyes protected from the overwhelming yellow by a wall. At the beginning of this episode, I asked you if the trade-off for a time machine would be worth the great painter's artistic work. Could we see and understand our world better with one? A time machine? I don't think so. I think this painting may transport us there on its own or at least where there might have been for Van Gogh, better than a time machine. We see and experience his world through his lens. Right now, it feels like we can't even appreciate our own world through our own lens. Why would we want to add more complications, more necessary interpretation to it? He's done it for us. So I have a challenge. Let's try to appreciate the beauty in our own life. Squint your eyes and notice the fascinating blend of colors around you, even if it seems simple or kind of lame. It could be great. It could be a wonderful blend that you see suddenly has an interesting sort of tone to it. There are some events we might want to be there for, but for right now we can be here, wherever that may be.